So I like to think that Great Day St. Louis is, you know, just a fun show. Um, we cover a lot of the different things that go on in St. Louis, so it's a local show as well. Um, we're covering a lot of the different restaurants and, you know, the fashion going on in St. Louis and just a lot of the things that people can go out and do in St. Louis. A producer, the primary job is to write. Um, we do a lot of writing. So if you don't like to write, then being a producer is probably not the best job for you. So um, I write before the show, and then during the show, I'm giving time cues to my talent in their ears, telling them when to rap, when to stretch, uh, when they you know just need to cut it off. Thank you for your help and your teamwork. And I'm also, you know, so I'm giving them time cues. And then after the show, I post all of our segments to the web. I run the social media sites. And then I just start looking at stuff for the next day. I'll book guests. Um, I will go out on occasion if I need to and shoot packages. It's fun being the millennial in the group um, because I can bring a lot of the millennial stories and everything up. That's a fun part too. Being in lifestyle is just fun. It's exciting. There's never a dull moment. We have a lot of fun with our show and we get to use our creativity. And I'm a very creative person and I love being creative. Um, and so the fact that I just get to find random stories that I'm interested in and put them in the show is so much fun. A lot of our viewers will send us messages and tell us they feel part of our family and they just feel like they know our host so well and they feel like they're just part of Great Day St. Louis. Being in television, you're you're kind of like all one big happy family. Um, that's something that I've you know figured out over the years, and especially when it's like the lifestyle show because there's only like six of us working on this show. I work with, you know, the most amazing talent. I mean, my three hosts are just fun to work with, and they're very great at what they do, and they listen really well to, you know, anything that I have to say. And they also help me as well. I mean, they've, you know, sometimes they'll give me pointers on, you know, where to look for the next story or who I should book. Oh, my gosh. Why do we have, oh, God. I would say the biggest challenge is that you never know what's going to get thrown at you. Uh, you could be have your whole show completely done, and then five minutes before the show is about to start, CBS you know, could call you up and say, hey, we have a special report going on, and then your whole show is just done. I would love to stick with lifestyle shows because um, I just have really found my passion with that. So I really love it here at KMOV. I've only been here for a little over a year and I'm learning a lot considering that I've really only been producing for about four and a half, five years. So I feel like I'm, I'm at a good place. But it'd be awesome to produce something in New York someday. Um, you know, the Today Show or Good Morning America has always been one of my big, big goals. I just feel like all of the qualities that I have just make me a great producer and I enjoy it and I, I love it. I would never choose to do anything else.